بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم This is Abdul Rahman and you are watching the animals production practices. In today lectures, we are going to talk on the principles of poultry hygiene and disease prevention. We will discuss the basic principles and its importance for a successful poultry production and flock management with disease free completion. Principles of hygiene and disease prevention With the help of good managemental practices, the chances of disease outbreak can be reduced to a great extent. I often say that if you can manage your flock, then there could be no need of any veterinary doctor at the farm. If you are a good manager, I, it's my own opinion. Poor managemental practices are major source of poultry health problems. To save the birds from various diseases, following points should be kept in mind. These points should be kept in mind for a good managemental practices and to keep the flock disease free and to get a bit up to the completion. If the poultry farm is very close to the other poultry farm, then there are more chances of spread of disease from one farm to another. Similarly, poultry farm should not be close to the pain road or industrial area as they are continuous source of stress for the birds. There should be a proper distance between farm to farm, farm to road, shed to shed. This, there should be a proper distance and biosecurity should be maintained and may be concerned, basic concern in establishing the sheds or making the farms nearby of the other farm. Similarly, this may, this make them more susceptible to diseases if the farm, the distance from another farm or main road should be 1 km in case of broiler, 3 km in case of layer and 5 km in case of breeder flock. This should, this is the maximum distance we should be kept in mind if we are going to establish farm near the other poultry farm or the main road or the breeder flock especially. Birds should be reared in a clean and disinfected house. The only thing which is the success which lead to the success of the poultry farm or poultry flock is the maintenance of the biosecurity. If a manager can maintain the biosecurity of the farm, then the production or the FCR of that farm would be exceptional. Disinfect and clean the house two weeks before the arrival of new chicks. You are going to begin a new flock at the farm, you must disinfect and clean your house, poultry house, two weeks before the arrival of the chicks, or at least 10 days before the arrival of the chicks. Always keep in mind the health of the breeder flock from which the chicks are obtained. Many diseases such as mycoplasma, polorum, leukosis are transmitted vertically from breeder flock to chicks. Once you are going to select the chicks 
दी ऑलवेज ऑलवेज रियर द ए क्वालिटी चीक्स ऑलवेज बाय ए क्वालिटी चीक्स फ्रॉम दी हैचरी एंड आल्सो कंसीडर दी पेरेंट ऑफ दोस चीक्स लाइक दी ब्रीडर फ्लॉक हेल्थ ऑफ दी ब्रीडर फ्लॉक फ्रॉम वेयर दी चीक्स आर आर टेकन There are different diagnostic tests for these diseases. These tests should be carried out regularly to identify the carrier birds. Such birds should be removed from the breeder flock. Meant to say, before buying the chicks or starting a new flock, the chicks should be properly diagnosed. The diagnosed and if there is any disease pointed out in those testers tests we should remove those birds or chicks from our flock immediately so that the other birds may be protected from the respective disease birds should be provided fresh clean and cool water free from toxins saline water water containing molds and very hot and cold water the water quality should be considered at all or at first while establishing any farm at any place as water is the basic thing which you will use at most at your farm while growing your flock saline water water containing molds are very hot and cold water should be avoided as it adversely affect the health of the birds temperature regulation is very important birds should not be exposed to the extremes of temperature it is very important to provide good quality feed to the birds if the feed contain high moisture contents then it will enhance the growth of fungus fungus can result in many harmful diseases such as aflatoxins aflatoxicosis by the production of toxic compounds very dry feed can also lead to respiratory problems first thing water quality second thing is feed quality there should be a good quality feed provided to the flock or the chicks or the birds as if you will provide the most moisture uh, feed to the birds the birds will suffer or will go to disease like aflatoxicosis due to the fungus and if you will provide most uh, dry feed high dry feed then it will cause respiratory problems to the birds proper ventilation of house is essential for normal health of the birds ammonia gas tend to accumulate as a result of damp litter and improper ventilation the litter may be damped due to the droppings of the birds or the wastage of water in the house so that damp litter will lead to the accumulation of ammonia gas okay if its concentration reach high enough if ammonia goes to high level in the house it may cause creato conjunctivitis dust if created must be carried away from the building with ventilating air but care should be taken to prevent the birds from cold air meant to say a co complete ventilation should be maintained in the house and the 
proper humidity level should be controlled and if there is dusty environment in the house the dust should be removed immediately and if there is damp litter or more humidity then that should also be removed instantly to prevent the birds from respiratory or other keratoconjunctivitis uh, diseases. Provide proper feeding and watering space. Try to provide some extra water space in hot days. This is a very important point as the our previous lectures I have told that the an egg is containing most of its content as in the form of water as albumin is containing 80 plus percent water so the intake of water is very important for that a proper space should be provided to the birds to intake more and more water but always try to provide the water to in the house in controlled way like not to waste the water in the house which may lead to the dampness in the house which eventually cause disease overcrowding results in reduced feed intake regarded growth and as a result production is reduced it also results in managemental problems like feather picking and cannibalism another very important managemental practice is providing proper spaces regarding watering and feeding Never mix the birds from different sources and of different age groups. Similarly, different species of birds should not be kept together. Some species are resistant to diseases while others are not. One species which may be naturally very resistant to the disease may act as a carrier of the disease for an other species which may be very susceptible. This is the, these are the points which are explaining that if you are going to farm, uh, uh, going to run a successful farm are making a are bringing a new flock then try to pre, uh, try to rear the birds which are of similar species of one species i would like to say of one species as different species of birds would like to fight with each other are the most important one species may be resistant to a disease but the other may be not to that resistant may be not resistant to that disease so if the resistive animal occurred any disease he may go to endure that disease but the it may cause carrier to the carrier for the other birds to be caused disease to the other birds. Other livestock such as ducks, goat, sheep and cattle should not be kept at the premises of farm. Near poultry house or at the poultry farm, the other livestock like goat, sheep and cattle should not be kept. Ducks especially are major carrier of salmonella. Farm attendants should not be allowed to keep ducks, turkeys, fowls, parrots, pigeons or any farm, other farm of pet at the farm residence. Visitors should not be allowed to enter the farm. Much of the poultry farm worker work requires sporadic use of a crew 
of several work van examples are blood testing de peaking vaccination sexing weighing and moving birds from one place to another the farm manager therefore should arrange for a crew of workmen who do much services these are potential source of infection as they move from shed to shed and handle many flocks they must therefore take precautions to safeguard the health of every flock they handle the workers are the veterinary workers are the technicians specially brought for the specific purposes like de peaking or vaccination should be told that they have to maintain biosecurity at our farm as they are the biggest carrier of the diseases because they are moving from one flock or moving from one farm to another feed should be stored in rat and mouse proof bins always place the feed bags out of the reach of the rats sparrows and other wild birds droppings are potential source of infection they can play an important role in the spreading of diseases they also produce ammonia gas which is very detrimental for the health of the birds so remove the droppings at regular intervals sick birds must at once be removed from other birds they should be kept in sick pen away from other birds it is best to dispose of such birds as they are potential source of disease spread sick birds should never be brought back to the farm with other birds even if they are recover because they can be carrier of various diseases always use vaccination program and strictly follow it it is necessary for the farm manager to be present at the farm at the time of vaccination always buy vaccines from reliable sources all surfaces inside the building should be impervious material to permit thorough cleaning it is not possible to sterilize a rough floor efficiently and adequately a plain concrete floor permit thorough washing and disinfection the carcass of birds who died due to any disease remains a source of infection for pen mates and other poultry on the same or other farm to reduce losses a decomposition pit can be used such a pit can be of any size that is convenient precaution should be taken that it is not located where it may con- contaminate drinking water that animal will not dig into it that flies and other insects cannot get into it and above all that children cannot possibly fall onto it other methods of disposal are burning burning and cooking and rendering i will also add a complete video on the disposal of dead birds at poultry farm at the end of screen of the end of this video so you may find that video at the end of this lecture in case of disease outbreak try to diagnose it as early as possible to prevent greater losses poultry diagnostic laboratories can help in this respect always follow the advice of poultry pathologist in case of treatment control eradication and preventive measures the pathologist who are the lab experts or lab or disease diagnostic experts those should be properly used in the treatment control eradication poultry house should be cleaned properly 
feeders should be controlled collector regularly and equipments should be washed preferably after every 7 days post mortem room should be should not be close to the shed as it can also be potential source of diseases these all points are related to biosecurity proper housing good quality water balance and good quality feed along with proper biosecurity and vaccination program can reduce the chances of disease outbreak this is the key to success of a successful farm or are growing a successful flock the last point proper housing good quality water balance and good quality feed along with proper biosecurity and vaccination program can reduce the chances of disease outbreaks so always i again will like to repeat that management can eradicate the role of doctor veterinary doctor at the farm if you are a good manager you can be a successful as much as if you can follow the last point of this slide thank you very much